Well, penicillin and drugs in the penicillin family are some of the most used antibiotics in the world. About 10% of people in the U.S. think they're allergic to it, but more than 9 out of 10 of them are not allergic at all. Interesting. Haley Hernandez is here with more on why the CDC says that is a concern. Haley, good morning. Exactly. Good morning, guys. So the CDC says that's a concern because patients could end up taking an antibiotic that either doesn't work or has bad side effects. But a simple blood test could hold the answers they need. Barbara Clements wants to know if she's allergic to penicillin. Both her husband and daughter believe they are. Her dad, too. I remember as a child growing up, he was very careful about it. And so I was just wondering if it was hereditary. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Seth Cohen says 9 out of 10 people wrongly think they're allergic to penicillin and may be putting themselves at risk. This is especially true for patients who are elderly, immunosuppressed, pregnant, or need surgery. If you're labeled as having a penicillin allergy, you may be unnecessarily placed on a broad spectrum antibiotic that can lead to side effects or may be less effective than something in the penicillin family. Okay, so a skin scratch test can reveal whether a patient has a penicillin allergy in a little less than an hour. The skin testing is a rapid office based procedure where we can delist somebody's penicillin allergy. That means we can tell them in the office that they do not have a penicillin allergy. You can put one drop there. He puts right penicillin or saline on the skin, scratches it, marks it, and waits for a reaction if there is one. The penicillin is exactly the same size as the saline. That means Barbara is not allergic. Now she wants to get her husband and daughter tested too. And Dr. Cohen says the skin test is safe and cost effective as it reduces the risk of complica complications in the hospital. Also, a lot of people lose penicillin allergies in about 10 years. So he and the CDC suggest being reevaluated. If you thought you were allergic as a younger person, you might want to get retested now. Yeah, very important for a lot of people to hear. Thank exactly. you, Haley. Thanks, guys. Yeah.